Let's see the definition of electrolytic cell. Electrolytic cell which uses electrical energy to drive a chemical reaction. So basically electrolytic cell is doing what? It is changing electrical energy into chemical energy. Let's see the construction of this electrolytic cell. It consists of a vessel. It is a small tank and in which two electrodes are there. What are electrodes? Electrodes are inert plates which are basically used for the conduction of electricity for the conduction of electrons in an electrolytic cell. These electrodes are connected with each other with the help of a battery. If we see that the positive uh, one part is known as anode because it is attached with the positive terminal of the battery and this one black one you can see this is cathode negative charges on it it is cathode because it is attached with the negative terminal of the battery one very important thing which we need in this electrolytic cell is an electrolyte here we have taken NaCl what is the purpose of taking the electrolyte because electrolyte is a substance which can conduct electricity so here we are taking NaCl because we want to get sodium metal in pure form with the help of this electrolytic cell now as the electricity will pass through this battery so this electrolyte which is NaCl it will be converted into sodium positive and chlorine negative ions so in this way all the electrolyte will be converted into positive and negative ions now all the sodium ions are moving towards cathode because cathode is negative plate and all the chloride ions are moving towards anode because anode is positive plate so because of positive and negative charges they will move towards cathode and anode now as chlorine will reach to at anode so it will lose its one electron and that one electron will be taken by cathode and at cathode already sodium charge is there so chlorine ion will change into Cl and sodium plus ion will be changed into sodium atom so now what is happening if we see the reactions so chlorine at anode oxidation is occurring oxidation means loss of electron so chlorine is basically losing its one electron at anode at the same time what is happening at cathode reduction reduction means gain of electron so sodium ion is gaining one electron of chlorine and it is becoming sodium atom now if some students they used to forget about uh, at anode what is occurring at cathode which process occurs so you can simply remember anox red cat at anode oxidation will occur at cathode reduction will occur one more chlorine will come at anode it will lose one more electron and that one electron will be taken by cathode and another sodium ion will be changed into sodium atom so in this way we will get two chlorines so two chlorines will form cl2 and cl2 we know it is a gas chlorine gas and at cathode we will get sodium atoms now this sodium atom which we will get at cathode this is pure sodium metal so it was the purpose of electrolytic cell which are used at industrial level to get the metals in their pure form thank you for watching my video i hope it will be helpful for teachers and students for further interesting chemistry videos stay tuned with chemistry tutor hr